Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel. So in today's video, I want to do a review and try on of all of my Aritzia Babaton Sculpt Knit Tanks and Sculpt Knit Tops. So I have a total of eight different Sculpt Knit Tops and I wanted to kind of do a review, share my opinions and thoughts on each of these styles and I'll also be trying them all on and doing a comparison as well. So first of all, the Sculpt Knit material, it's very thick and very stretchy. If you've never tried this on before in stores, I highly recommend you trying it on for yourself. So the Sculpt Knit material is generally like this ribbed material, but in some of the other styles, for example, you'll see later like the Empire Sculpt Knit sweater, it's a more smooth material. But in general, it gives the same effect. It's very um, sculpting and kind of like sucks you in. So I will get into the maintenance and how I wash this material and how I take care of it later on. In terms of the fit and sizing, um, I have all of my Sculpt Knit tanks in either the size extra small or the size small. I just want to mention that my usual size for Aritzia tops are small or an extra small, so I would say these Sculpt Knit tanks fit true to size. And for reference, I am 5'3 and about 115 pounds. I will leave my full measurements down below in the description box. So when I try these on, I'll let you know which ones I got in which sizes. So these are the Sculpt Knit Square Neck Cropped Tanks and I feel like this is the most classic version of their Sculpt Knit tank. I think this is like the first version they ever came out with. And I have two of them here in the color Matte Pearl and Black. I get the style in the size extra small. So this is the tank on. This one is in the color Matte Pearl. It's like a very neutral grayish beige. Again, this is in the size extra small and I feel like it fits very snugly. I feel like the straps and the size extra small is like a perfect length on me. Again, I am a 5'3", but I feel like I like this body hugging material, but if you're not that fan of like it fitting that snug, maybe go up a size. So here is a close-up of the ribbing material. I feel like it is very flattering. It kind of gives you like a very smooth effect, especially in the crop version. Um, the length is very short. This is like one of the shorter crop versions of their Sculpt Knit tanks. I tend to wear this a lot with high-waisted stuff, so this is just where it hits, like at the top of my waist. And next up is the same style but in the black color. So this is the same size as well and size extra small. Um, as you can see, I love the style so much. This is actually my most worn Sculpt Knit tank, which is why I had recently picked up this black version. Overall, I just feel like this is a nice basic to have. Also, it is very thick, so you definitely don't need to wear a bra with it if you're comfortable with that. These are definitely thick enough and opaque enough. Next is the Sculpt Knit Square Neck Tank in the regular long version. This is in the color white and I got this in a size small. So in hindsight, I do kind of regret getting it in a size small because I think the extra small actually fits me better in the style because of how long the straps are. So this is the Square Knit Sculpt Knit Tank in the long version. This is actually the longest Sculpt Knit Tank that I own. I think this is like the longest version of all of their Sculpt Knit Tanks that they have available. Um, I did get this in in a size small so this is one size bigger than the crop version of the Sculpt Knit tanks that I have. It is still like body hugging but I think in hindsight I think I still prefer the size extra small more um, just because I feel like in the size small it's a little bit more lower cut and, and the straps are a little bit longer so even here you can see in the armpit area this goes a little bit lower so in hindsight I think I would still stick to a size extra small if I were to purchase another one of these long Sculpt Knit tanks. As you can see in the white material, it is really opaque and not see-through at all so you don't have to worry about like where, what you wear underneath. You don't need to wear a nude bra, I've definitely worn like black bras underneath this and it won't be see-through at all. The next one is the Sculpt Knit Tube Top and this is in the color white and it's in the size extra small. So this tube top actually doesn't come with the band at the top, like the silicone band that keeps it like stay in place. So it's a little bit like annoying to wear, that's why I don't get that much wear out of it. So this is the tube top on. I like the look of this tube top, but I don't think it's like, like the most practical because like I mentioned, there's no like silicone band at the top. So often throughout the day, it kind of does slip down more. So it's not the most convenient top to wear. But I think it's pretty cute. I did get this in a size extra small because I want it to be more snug and um, to like kind of like not slip down more. Another issue I have with this top um, is 
I guess it's kind of like a me issue, but it's not very flattering on my armpit area here. The band here kind of like squeezes my armpit fat, so I don't think that's very flattering, but this might be like a me issue. The length of this top is about the same as the crop tanks, but a little bit longer. I think like I think it's like a smidge bit longer because it does like basically end at where my skirt is right now. Next is the Sculpt Knit Crisscross Tank and this is the white color in the size small. When I got it, there was only one length, but this should be the crop version because there's a longer one now. And I got this in a size small because I feel like this fits a little bit um, tighter than the other Sculpt Knit tanks. So this is the crisscross tank on and this is again in the size small. So this is a size bigger than most of my other Sculpt Knit tanks. This is probably like my favorite style in terms of like how it looks. Not my most worn though because I feel like the square neck one is still more like practical to wear but I really really love this top for the summer. It's really cute, really unique so I really like how this top looks on. So in this crop version it goes down pretty low. It's not as cropped as the square neck tank so as you can see it kind of like covers the top of my skirt. Here's a close-up of the material. So the band up here is the smooth sculpt knit material. It's like the same stretchy fabric but just without the ribbing. So when I first got this top I thought it was going to be kind of annoying because I thought the band up here was a little too tight on my neck and that it felt like it was gonna choke me throughout the day but after wearing it for like a whole day I realized that I don't actually notice it that much and it doesn't really bother me so if I think about it yes it's a little bit tight on here and I can feel on my neck but I don't feel like it's choking me so overall I still recommend this top Next is the Sculpt Knit Muscle Tank and this used to be called the Pia Sculpt Knit Tank when I purchased it but now it's called the Sculpt Knit Muscle Tank. Um, this is in the size extra small. I got this in the color Pinecone Brown. So this is the regular Sculpt Knit Muscle Tank, not the crop version. So this is the muscle tank on. Um, it is very flattering. I really, really like how this top looks, even though I don't actually get too much wear out of this top, but I think that's mainly because of the color. Um, it's not black or white or beige like my other tops, uh, but this is called Pinecone Brown. It's a warm brown color. I mainly pair this brown with like beige or white, but I do think it is very flattering though. Um, I got this in a size extra small. This hits me like around the same same as the tube top and the crisscrossed top so it's definitely longer than the cropped square neck. I've never tried on the crop version of the muscle tank before but this is their, I guess they call it the waist version. When I originally bought this top I tried on both the size extra small and the small and I ended up going with the size extra small because I felt like in the size small the bottom part kind of like wrinkled a little bit more like it bunched up kind of like this. I honestly feel like this fits looser than my crisscross tank even though the crisscross tank was in the size small. I think that's just because the top part here is like not as constricting. And next is the Sculpt Knit Polo Tank. This used to be called the Excerpt Sculpt Knit Tank. I believe it's called the Polo Sculpt Knit Tank now. And I think there's only one length but this would be the crop length. I got this in the white color in the size small. So the only reason I got this in a size small is because of the length, but I think the extra small fits too. So this is the Sculpt Knit Polo Top, and this is in the size small. As you can see, this is more cropped than some of the other tops I've tried on, so I would say this is probably like the second most cropped uh, crop length of the Sculpt Knit Tanks. The square neck one is still more cropped than this, but I did size up in this mostly for the length. I think I would prefer this to be a little bit longer, similar to the other waist length of like the crisscross top and then the muscle tank. But yeah, for some reason this one is a little bit more cropped than the other ones. The neckline is a very low, but it's very narrow, so I feel like it's not that exposing but I do get a lot of wear out of this especially with like high-waisted skirts like the TNA tennis skirt. Another reason why I sized up is because I didn't want this area to look like stretched because I've seen like these tops on other people and this area just kind of looks stretched out and I don't think that looks that flattery. So overall I feel like this one is just like okay. I wouldn't repurchase this one just because I don't think it suits me that well. Aritzia has other um, polo style tank tops like this in like other materials like from Sunday Best and also on the contour line. I haven't tried those yet but I know they have very similar styles to this. And lastly 
I have this sculpt knit long sleeve sweater. So this is the sculpt knit empire long sleeve sweater. I believe that's what it's called now. When I got it, it was called the sculpt knit refinery sweater. So I don't know why Aritzia keeps changing these names. I got this in the color matte pearl and it's in the size extra small. When I ordered this online, I've only ever tried on the extra small. I feel like it fits a little bit tight. Um, I've never tried on the size small, but in hindsight, I feel like a size small would have worked better. If I were to repurchase a sweater, I would definitely go up a size and get the size small. This is the long sleeve in the size extra small. Um, like I mentioned, in hindsight, I should have gotten the size small because it is very tight. It's got the ribbing at the waist and then the top is smooth the top is so smooth that you can see the outline of my bra so i don't know maybe i'll have to wear a different bra with this um another issue i have with this top is the length of its sleeve for some reason the sleeve is just really long and then it ends up like bunching up here the length is like a little bit longer than the other tanks but it's not like as long as the long version of the sculpt knit square neck tank. It does hit me like right around where my belly button is. Because this top is so tight I feel like I have trouble taking it off. I think putting it on is fine but just like taking it off I feel like I feel like it's a workout. <laughs> it feels really like compressive um, on my arms as well. I don't really know how I feel about that. Like I like the sculpted material and how it sucks you in, um, especially in your body. But I feel like when it's in my arm, it's a little bit too much. So I probably wouldn't buy like another long sleeve sculpted tank. But I do like this color though. And I would definitely wear this with more like my Y like trousers because it's so fitted. So comparing the different lengths of each of these tops, I put them in order from the longest to the shortest. So the longest one would be the square neck sculpt knit tank in the long version, and then it would be the empire long sleeve sweater. And then these two are about the same. So the crisscross tank and the muscle tank, the crop version of the crisscross tank and the waist version of the muscle tank, they are like about the same length. And then it would be the sculpt knit cropped tube top um this is on me kind of long but i guess this would fit everyone differently because it doesn't have a sleeves and then it'll be the polo tank this one fits really short on me for some reason and then these two are the shortest and most cropped by far so how I wash and maintain these sculpt knit tops, um, they are quite prone to pilling. So I always flip my top inside out and then I put it into one of these mesh laundry bags before I machine wash it. Um, these are machine washable and they're also dryable. So I just use the normal setting on my washing machine and then I throw it into my dryer. It turns out fine. Occasionally these straps will become like really wrinkled and shrink up. But once you actually like wear it and put it back on, it just, it turns back to normal. In the sense that they are machine washable and dryable, they are pretty low maintenance, but they are quite prone to pilling. So just keep that in mind. Um, always wash them inside out in a mesh laundry bag so they don't rub against your other clothes. So far, I haven't had too much um, issue with them pilling. I have washed them quite a lot using this method and they have been fine for the most part, very minimal pilling. However, I have noticed that in this top in particular, especially in the smooth fabric here, there is quite a bit of pilling in the back. I don't know if you can see. This is actually not from washing, but it's actually from me just wearing the sweater and then sitting against the chair and I guess like my back rubbing against the fabric of the chair or the couch. And it has, I guess, like a bit of pilling at the back here. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. For that reason, I don't think I will go for another um, top like this. But in terms of the regular tank top versions, I so far haven't had any issues with pilling. Another thing I want to mention is like snagging. It's like a knit material. So with all knit materials, they kind of are more prone to snagging. So for example, in my tube top, there's like a little snag there. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. So be a little bit more careful when you're wearing these that you don't like accidentally snag it on something. And that's why you should wash in a mesh bag as well because these definitely help prevent snagging in the wash. So my overall opinions and my thoughts on whether or not they're worth it, I think it depends on the style because I do really like this material in the tank tops and I do get a lot of wear out of it. So I definitely think that the tanks, the sculpt knit tanks, they're worth it. However, like I mentioned, I don't really like this smooth fabric because it kills a little bit more easily. So I definitely don't think I would get another sculpt knit tank with this material. And also I'm just not a huge fan of the ones with the sleeves when they're so tight because it feels like a little bit more constricting than 
if it was just like a tank top and it's just hugging my body another one that i don't think is that worth is this tube top because it doesn't have the band the silicone band at the top it tends to slip more easily so this one's just a little bit more annoying to wear i wouldn't recommend this one so overall i definitely think the crop versions of these sculpt knit tanks are the best ones and the ones that i get the most wear out of yeah that's just my opinion and my thoughts on sculpt knit tanks i would definitely purchase more of these in other colors in the future so yeah let me know if you have any questions on the sculpt knit tanks feel free to leave a comment down below i try my best to answer everyone so hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up hope you guys stick around to check out some of my other videos and i'll see you in my next one